Now. Our movie critic believes that Alexander Payne's new movie, The Holdovers, is one of the best movies of the year. Here's Terry's take. The Holdovers is a funny and touching comedy drama about three troubled people, a teacher, a student, and a cook who are forced to spend the Christmas holidays together at a New England boarding school in 1970. It's a smart, well-written, character-driven film with an uplifting finish. Paul Giamatti is Paul Hunnam, an arrogant curmudgeon who teaches ancient history at Barton Academy. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. No, it's... Uh, I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. I'm supposed to go to Cornell. Unlikely. Newcomer Dominic Sessa is Angus Tully, a well, smart but troubled junior who's pain. been kicked out of a couple of other schools. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. Tully is one of four students who have nowhere to go for the Christmas holidays and are forced to remain on campus. Davine Joy Randolph is Mary, a cook also stuck on campus. She's grieving over the loss of her son, who was killed in Vietnam. I had you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? Oh, I don't know. I suppose I failed someone who richly deserved it. But then, three of the holdovers get a sudden reprieve, and Tully is left behind. Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone, or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer My father's to take you dead. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas? That nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? After Tully injures himself and Paul takes him to a hospital, the two begin to actually talk to each other. Now most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. It's a pleasure to watch these three unlikely companions gradually come to empathize with each other as the movie builds to a heartfelt and bittersweet climax. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now. Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, yeah, I, I know what, we haven't heard that much. We were talking while we were watching it that we really hadn't seen a whole lot of trailers, but someone did right. tell me that 